one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, back at you, and it's all wiped down. You can see right here, you got some of the white that's came through, and some fresh white marks there. And there's gonna be some areas, like maybe in here, in here, that aren't gonna be absolutely perfect, but it should get a pretty good job. Um, I've got my paint here, and what it is, it's a Duplicolor Perfect Match. And on the Duplicolor Perfect Match, it matches kind of perfect, hopefully. That was the point, I guess. We shall see. And here we go, man, because I'm not sure if this is gonna match at all. And same thing as always, as I always do on this, nice light coats. A little bit more on the edges. And you'll notice when you're doing this, the paint goes on a lot different than the primer does. And we're out here at a nice time of night where the wind's not kicked up and such. And it really should be a lot easier to do. Nice long stroke, she said. Ooh, I don't like how that looks. Can you see them flex there? That's not very cool either. That tip has a little buildup on it already. And Trent had a rag there, pretty close, that we could use. And it's nice to have a rag for that kind of stuff. Now the way this ties in with the front of the hood is gonna be kind of tricky. Painting the hood on the truck and not taking it off is not gonna give us the best of finishes, to say the least. Doing this inside off the truck will give us a lot better finish. Whether two cans will work is gonna be a very big question that I'm not sure about. Hard to keep track of the camera screen and what's happening and make sure the paint goes on smooth, for sure. I think we've got a pretty good match here though. And I'm at least gonna do half of this hood. But from the feeling of the can, I'm not going to get a lot farther than that tonight. How are you going to work with half a hood? Get yourself a point where there's a line, a body line, and try and use it as a guide and paint up to it. And make the choice while you know ahead of time and you have the time to try and conserve to that point. I'd rather have a quarter can left than be a quarter can short at the end of this. And you heard the spurt there. So, and also I can feel it, so I'm gonna get up towards the front here because it'll work a lot better on this type of a surface. And that other one should be shaken and not stirred and ready to go and we're gonna be getting on to it man this thing is almost out so to do a hood i'm guessing a guy should have four cans of this ready four cans you say that's what i'm saying oh that sputtering ain't good and I'm done right there, man. We're not gonna do anything else on that. We're gonna call that out. But, with where I got to that at, it's very important to kind of try and make sure you're finished. God, I don't like the tips on this Duplicolor. They're sputtering little spurts, you see that? That little speck, specks? I don't like that. You shouldn't either. It won't add to a good job. It just has specks. This is not a spectator sport. And you can always add another coat. 
when you come back in the morning and you decide, damn, it was awful late. That didn't look as good as we thought it looked. And stuff like that. God, look at them specs it's throwing. Keep a rag around to where you can kind of do that because that's just bad. Okay. I need some kind of different stool at some point in my ventures. If nothing else, it's been fun. Whether it matches or not. It's been fun! It's been nice talking to you guys. Hopefully you've commented a lot. Hopefully I've got a subscriber or two out of this and you guys are like, Hey! Look at this idiot! I want to subscribe! You never know. I meet so many cool people on here. I meet some buttholes too. Easy to block them! It's well worth it for all the awesome people I meet. And same thing on these edges. I'm big on edges. And we are just not going to have enough to do what we're needing to do here. I'm actually going to buy three more cans tomorrow. Maybe four. I can tell you that right now. And I'm going to flash coat something over this to make this all even more smooth. Because I'm not liking what I'm getting here. At all. And I'm going to hit it up an hour earlier. And it's going to look great. We just grossly underestimated the amount of paint it would take somehow. I think you must have been looking at it thinking, well, that's about a quart, man. That'll do it. Don't work the same as car paint. Just don't. Yeah. Two cans is not enough to do a hood. If you had it all at the same time, five cans would be plenty. And you can see it's looking good. It's great, great looking. Um... If you keep it at that line, it ought to be a lot easier to tie in tomorrow. Or any time for that matter. One thing I don't want to do is lose my whole look here on this edge. So I'm going to try and protect it now. But I ain't got enough paint to keep my can tilted enough. Well, that's pretty good. And tomorrow, we'll be finished. Five cans, I would suggest. And suggest. And this is a, what kind of paint is this? Hang on. Well, I mean, how many ounces? Eight ounces. Problem is, it's not really a pint. Well, <laughs> I wish I had one more can to put on there, man, because that looks pretty good. And I know that would make it what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to lose a little bit of my finish on this side by not being able to do this all at the same time. For sure. Well, that's that. That could cost a guy if you don't plan it out right. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. OneOwnerCarGuy.com well, it's the next day, one owner car guy, back with you. I got some 400 here. And to tell you the truth, it's a little bit aggressive for what I want to do. Don't be so aggressive, okay? But it's just a little bit more aggressive than I want, but, and it's got a smooth finish to it, but it's picked up a little bit of dirt and stuff overnight. Um, and we're not gonna 
have time to do this the other way. And this is the time that I get. So I'm gonna kinda blend this in along the top. And since I'm gonna have to redo this anyways, I'm gonna rough it up with the 400, which like I say, is way too aggressive. But I'm not gonna try and paint another coat over it. Totally sealed like it is. I'm just gonna use it as the best prime in the world, I guess you'd say. And we'll just wipe it all down and go from there in a minute. It's got a nice finish over here. I actually hate to be doing this to it. It's just really nice finish. Hope I was showing that. Now I might have to edit this down a bit. It might not be the most perfect. Trim was just looking for some kind of tripod type thing a minute ago. And we figured out we really didn't have anything. So, this is what we got. Essentially, you want the paint to fill the little scratches. And that does make pretty much the perfect little scratches to go over 400. I was going to use some 6 or some 8, but I didn't have any. That's it. I'm happy with that. As you can see, it put a little bit of a something something in it. And that piece of paper is pretty much used up. Hey, a little bit more here. And that's that. We're gonna wipe the whole thing down. And I'm actually gonna do just a tad bit right here in case we got some overspray. Oh, this side feels nice. It's all 400 and down anyways. But I'm just giving it a little bit extra because it sat overnight. And if you remember, I put a little bit extra paint or primer, if you will, on this panel. We'll have to make sure and wipe that dent out too. I hate putting these in my pocket. I get climbing on stuff and worry about things falling out. Safest place is on my hand. Can you roll that stool over on this side? Perfect. And this is not your professional program and such. This is the problem that happened <laughs> when you decide to do a hood with two cans of paint. And they're the little cans instead of the bigger cans. Um, 
Man, the time we did that Jeep with would have worked perfect. And if I had white primer, maybe that would work too. Well, I'm calling it good. I'm gonna wipe it down, let it dry, and get back with you in a while. One owner car guy.com.